Hello, Amy here. I'm here today to show you how to help a needle phobic horse. This is Izzy. Um, it is spring here and it is time for spring vaccinations. The vet came out last week and we discovered that Izzy here is very needle shy. Um, when the vet tried to give her her vaccine, she exhibited several avoidant behaviors, some of which are rearing up um, head tossing, sucking back, um, just anything she could do to get away from the needle. And I am wanting to help her work through this fear of needles to show her that she can stand um, and be tolerant of the little pinch that happens so that we don't ever have to resort to um, short-term fixes such as twitching, uh, putting a chain on her lip, um, oral sedation. I'm just not really interested in doing any of that. So I'm going to show you how to get a needle shy horse um, accepting of vaccines without resorting to uh, quick fixes. So the first thing is you want to be sure that you can pet her neck and she's okay with that. You also want to make sure that you can pet down here on her jugular. Um, you can see she kind of tensed her muscles there, so I'm going to keep doing it until I see that she can relax. So what we're going to do is go through the vaccination process just as we would if we were using a real vaccine. Um, instead of a, a shot, I have this little toothpick, and this is what I'm going to use to kind of desensitize her to that prick sensation. Um, first thing we do is find the triangle. It's right here. That's where all intramuscular vaccines go. Um, and then what my personal vet likes to do is pinch a little bit of their skin. And she's obviously not very tolerant of that. I'm going to release right here because she stopped her feet. And we're just going to work on that. If she goes back, I'm going with her so as not to release her while her feet are moving. There, that was nice. Once we get good with the pinching, then we're going to add the toothpick. I'm just going to stay with her until she decides to stop her feet. Right here. Release. I'm going to keep working on the pinching of the skin. She thinks she has to move and I'm not going to stop her. Here, I'm going to release because she decided to stay. She lowered her head and that was good. I'm going to try out a few more of these. release. I'm not going to release that one until she stops her feet. Yeah. That was really good. I'm going to move to the second step. What I have here is just your ordinary toothpick. This is to help her learn to accept this kind of sharp sensation. I'm not gonna like poke it through her skin or anything, but just help her see this is all it is. It's just um, a prick and then it's over. So we'll start with our pinching. keep working this process until she finds that she can stand quietly um, while I'm doing it. A pinch. It's okay that she has to move her feet, but I'm not going to release it until she stops. There, release. She's looking and chewing. I think she's starting to get what we're after here. We're going to do it again. I'm going to add the toothpick. She has to move. Here, she stops. And we're just going to keep working this, the pinching and the toothpick, until she gets pretty reliable about it. I'm going to hang in here until she.
So I have my rabies shot here. Before I use it, I'm just gonna, this is not a toothpick and she knows that. I'm just gonna let her kind of sniff it. So she's already nervous. Her fear level is increasing just having this real vaccine out. She definitely knows what this is. So instead of just moving forward and giving her a shot, I'm gonna pair up the vaccine and the toothpick that she's already learned to stand for. So with the toothpick, I just have it here on the end of my um, shot pinch. Just release that, that was really good. She's nervous and all this, but she is keeping her feet still. That was good. Okay. I'm gonna try the real shot now. Pin. Inject. The wizard. Plunge. And we did it! Good job, Izzy! Just successfully gave. Um, Izzy here, her rabies vaccine. She's a needle shy horse and I think she tolerated that pretty well. I have three more vaccines to give her and I'm in no hurry um, to do that. I probably have a goal of uh, doing one once a week. And in the meantime, I'm gonna keep using my little toothpick paired with this so she gets used to this visual here. Um, and I think by the last vaccine, she'll be even better than she was today. All right, thank you.